Hey everyone, it's Ben Hardy here, and in today's gonna to be reviewing the new Tesla Cybertruck. Before we get in this video, I wanna give a huge shout out and thank you to EV Auto for giving me some time with this Cybertruck. I'll include a link to their website in the description down below. Let's get right into it. So as always, we're gonna start with the EV specs. This has a dual electric motor setup paired to a 123 kilowatt hour battery pack. This provides about 320 miles of electric driving range. And then in terms of power outputs, 593 horsepower and then 525 pound-feet of torque. Now the first thing to go over is the frunk. This is one of the cool things about electric vehicles is, well, not having an engine means you have a little bit more storage. Now this is quite a bit smaller compared to the F-150 Lightning and it doesn't have all the cool outlets and everything, but it does say Cybertruck and it's really easy to close. You actually just have this little button right here and you press that and then it'll pop right down. Now, before we move forward with this review, I do want to mention if you want to see more videos just like this, then I recommend you subscribe because I post content every single day. Now, starting with the hood, this particular Cybertruck has a wrap. Pretty much every single Cybertruck has been wrapped at this point because it's really hard to keep the original finish clean. Again, stainless steel, it's kind of a thing. If you have a refrigerator, you understand. But anyways, really cool effect with the lights here on the front. And yeah, all the angles on this, obviously extremely sharp. Like, I wouldn't say that you could cut yourself on it per se but it definitely has an edge to it and then another cool feature is with the front you can open it from the outside there's just a little kind of tab that you can press and then this actually has recovery points there on the front end for off-road use but yeah seeing this in person it definitely looks like something from the future now this particular Cybertruck has an aftermarket tire and wheel setup these are 24s uh, so 295 45 24 Looks like that's about a 34, maybe, in terms of if off-road tire size. But yeah, definitely a pretty big setup. Obviously, that is going to decrease range a little bit. But I like how you've got the <laughs> yeah, T-logo for the aftermarket wheels, but then also kind of matches because Tesla, right? And then look at the brake caliper, how that has been painted as well. Or actually, it looks like it's wrapped, not painted. It's actually been wrapped. I've never seen that before. And then you can see with the fender flares here, super boxy with the design and then the rest of the trim there that kind of matches that whole setup. Now here's a side profile with the Cybertruck, which is famous because of Elon Musk's whole stunt with basically throwing the thing through the window. But I want to quickly talk about the armoring because you'll see a lot of stuff talking about how the Tesla Cybertruck here is armored and it is to an extent so there's different levels with armoring this one's a b2 which is not quite the lowest level but it's pretty far down on the totem pole most armored vehicles will be at least a b5 or even a b6 and so the tesla cybertruck is technically armored but it's also on a lower level if you want to really arm your cybertruck i know a guy now let's get into the business end of the Cybertruck. So first off, the taillight design here is pretty crazy looking. Now with the tailgate, it does automatically drop down with the press button or it's supposed to automatically drop down with the press button. We've tried to film this like five different times and every single time I turn on the camera, it doesn't want to work. And then as soon as I turn off the camera, it'll do the pop down feature. This is so weird. Okay, so this should work. There we go. This button is camera shy, apparently. It's so, <laughs> so cause look at that. that now, now it'll pop down every single time. But anyways, we've got storage underneath and you can use this as an ice chest, which is really cool. And then we also have outlets here in the back. And then we've got an automatic tonneau cover. We'll see if this one cooperates with me. There we go. I guess, I guess it's not the tonneau cover is not as camera shy as the tailgate. But it's cool how it's automatic. And then the other cool thing about the tonneau cover is you can just do it partially if you want. So I can stop it at any point, as you can see, which means that you can have it as open or as closed as you want. And then you have this if you want to do a rack across. And then we do have cargo tie downs as well. So it's got all the truck bed stuff that you need. So putting it all together, let me guys think about the Tesla Cybertruck and I'm sure we're going to see more crazy wraps like this on the Cybertruck until they, you know, maybe get something out with, I don't know, PPF from the factory or something like that. Now popping inside, it's actually soft touch here at the top and down below. So there's padding everywhere you need it. And that is a huge switch for the window, but frameless windows, interesting choice with that. And then you have the electronic door popper, plenty of storage down below. 
And then here are these seats. They're perforated all down the center portion. Pretty nice material use overall. And getting in is extremely easy uh, for a pickup truck. You just kind of slide across. Legroom back here is great. Got storage here. And then you can see we've got kind of our own climate zone in the back. We have, frankly, we have like our own infotainment system back here. It's actually really cool. Heated seats as well. Oh, it looks like I accidentally turned on the climate. Anyways, yeah, it's cool that you have the screen controls and then headroom back here is actually, I mean, it's decent. Now take a look at the front door panel again. You can see with the same trim throughout and that's interesting with the design touch there. And then the mirrors do power fold in with this. Got all of our window controls. These are actually normal sized. unlike the back one. Got the door popper, more storage down below. Interested to see payload 2,500 pounds. That is crazy. You do not usually see that on truck this size. And then here are the seats, perforated all down the center. Got all of your adjustments, Cybertruck logo. You can see the pedals. And then of course you got Tesla's minimalist design for the dash. So it's, it's uh, there's a lot of vent across the dash as well for airflow. But yeah, this is actually pretty cool looking with how they've designed it. But notice how the windshield's really far away. And something I will mention about the windshield, the dimensions are 69 by 69 because Tesla. Now here's a quick look at the steering wheel. Uh, steer by wire, it'll be interesting to see how this performs with driving. But you have all the practical controls in the front like turn signals and all of that. Uh, so yeah, it's, it's practical, but it's, it's definitely different looking. And then just like the Tesla Model Y and the Model 3, pretty much everything is controlled in the infotainment system here. And this isn't really a big departure from those cars. Uh, you can see that we've got all of our functions here on the side and apparently if you click this right, yeah. Oh my you can you can break the uh, windows. There we go. Oh man, it didn't go through. So it's got it's it's got fun little Easter eggs like that. I, I think that Tesla handles stuff like that better than anyone else. But I mean, you can control everything here with the ride height, and then you can see with the different drive modes with towing. I mean, it it literally does have it all. And so not only is the screen really responsive, it's really easy to use. And then the other fun Easter egg I want to try to find, I can't remember where it is. We've got, oh yes, you have Mars, of course, which is hilarious. Um, but there is one for the, uh, I can't remember where it is. I'll have to, I'll try to find it for you guys in a second. Here we go. I found it. So there's, there's your, there's your emissions. <laughs> Pretty cool setup, but yeah, let me know what you guys think about this. And then we just have some storage. We've got kind of like a sort of floating center console type design here. Uh, pretty normal setup, more storage inside as well. And speaking of storage, it does have a normal glove box. Uh, you open it with the infotainment system and it's like a, ca I shouldn't say normal, it's like a cabinet drawer and it's automatic. It's very strange to say that. Um, now the rear view mirror is kind of pointless. Um, I don't know if you guys can actually see through it at all, but there's like no visibility through. I mean, there is the, you know, window up top here. There's not a lot of visibility through the back and notice how like you've got window here and then you have this and then you've got more glass. So it's kind of an interesting setup uh, up top. So last thing I wanted to quickly show was the size of these cyber trucks. So you guys can kind of see the size compared to the Bronco Raptor. The Cybertruck's actually super wide, but you know, you can see the height difference and all of that as well. Now the first thing I wanna talk about is actually going to be how to get it into drive. So there's several buttons up here, but another way is you can just tap the brake twice. And then if I press the accelerator pedal, then that'll go into drive. Um, but like I said, there's also buttons up top where you can go from park to drive to reverse to neutral, all of that. Uh, pretty cool system. I went for a turn signal stock. I forgot it's a button on the cyber truck. So it's so weird to see out the dash because it's so long. And they actually put a window there. I've, just, I've heard some people complain about the blind spot here in some of the reviews. And the first thing we're going to do, of course, is get an acceleration. It's it's quick. I mean, especially for a pickup truck, it's pretty crazy. This will give us a chance to uh, get an acceleration here with uh, from a standstill. It's pretty easy to cancel the turn signal. I was wondering with the button when you double click and all of that, but 
pretty straightforward. It would take a second to get used to that. I will say that. But yeah, it's, you know, being fully electric is so quiet. And I'm actually surprised these seats are pretty, you know, pretty comfortable. They did a good job with the bolstering on that. And the interior on this, there's a lot more soft touch than I feel like I've seen before in Teslas. It seems like they've kind of upgraded things a little bit for the Cybertruck. <laughs> yeah, it, it's, it's pretty quick. You know, a little bump there, that's, that's crazy. I've seen some videos of people doing some like Baja driving with these uh, cyber trucks now they've they've done everything with them they're it's a pretty interesting pretty interesting vehicle and the steering is very natural uh, so I, I talked about steer by wire earlier where in I'll show you at lower speeds you know other I've seen other channels show the same thing uh, where it's basically is pretty much no input for the steering I mean you can see how going around these little corners here I'm not really moving the steering wheel all that much. So depending on how fast you're going will determine how much, you know, the wheels turn with the steering input. But it kind of reminds me of the Acura NSX to an extent. It's more extreme than that system, I will say. But it's, it's, it's similar to the system in the NSX. It's very, it's very interesting to say the least. But I will say it drives, it drives shockingly well for what it is. And again, it's on 24s, so you know you think that would kind of mess with the ride quality a little bit, but it, it's not bad at all. It's not bad at all. So here's, I'll show you guys, cause we're going, we're slowing down here. So again, look at the steering. Now it's completely different with the ratio, but it, it, the turn in is so sharp. It's, I mean, for, yeah, it's, it's crazy how responsive it is. It's crazy how responsive it is. So yeah, to, just to just to sum things up, I feel like we got pretty much everything we needed for the Cybertruck. We got a little acceleration. We got we've got some stuff with the weird steering and all of that. Um, I think this looks shocking on the outside, and it it gets this is a vehicle that I mean for at least the time being until maybe there's more out in the world, this gets a lot of attention. It's it's not a vehicle that flies under the radar by any means. Come full circle here with the cyber. I, actually, I can't say full circle to come full rectangle whatever you're gonna say with the Cybertruck. <laughs> to come full edge with the Cybertruck. It's it's a cool vehicle. Um, I don't know about the, you know, quote unquote, tr truck practicality with it, right? Because we all know EV trucks can't tow all that far uh, because they run out of battery super quick and then charging takes longer than filling up with gas. But for what it is, it's a very unique vehicle. It's real, like it, it drives exceptionally well. It looks really cool and yeah, I, I think in terms of, you know, a competitor to like Rivian, for example, I, I, th I think it's right there. But let me know what you guys think about the new Cybertruck.